So today is the day, one of the days of the Wiley's Fireworks Comedy Competition, and I will be competing this year. Tonight is day two of the first round. Um, the show, there's two shows tonight, uh, one at 7.15 and one at 9.30. I'm on the 9.30 show. Uh, it's currently, oh, it's currently 7.47 p.m. Um, I worked all day, got up early, and I've been napping and being lazy in bed because I'm extremely nervous and stressed out and I'm afraid to go. But now it's to the point where I need to get up, eat, shower, change, pack my stuff, get down there. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, where did the day go? I don't want to do this. I'm so nervous. <laughs> So it's uh, 8.22, I just got dressed. Um, Tinkerbell, what are you doing? Come on, let's go upstairs. Watch my uncle's dog, <laughs> she's down here hanging out with me. Um, yeah, I got a new shirt, mom picked it up for me today. I really appreciate that. Yes, my mommy still buys me clothes, deal with it. Uh, but I gotta head upstairs and get ready to go. I gotta get something to eat, and then I gotta head down to the club. So it's gonna be a crazy night. Oh. There is a, <laughs> there's an outdoor music venue literally right across the street from my house. Um, and so whenever there's like a big event or something, it gets crowded on my street. Little Big Town is playing across the street right now. And I'm having to like navigate through this web of cars. It took me five minutes to get out of my driveway because they parked so close to my driveway. Oh my God, I'm going to be late. <laughs> They had 134 reservations. 134 reservations. This place is gonna pack up. Up on stage, he's number 10. I'm number 12. There's one more in front of me. It's almost showtime, which means it is time for the traditional pre show voiding of the bowels. Yeah, you know, it's always amazing to me how much uh, doing a show makes me ner have to nervous pee. Um, it really does. Uh, it's really weird. By the way, I'm not actually peeing right now. That's, yeah, no, it's, it's done. Yeah, no, it's a sound effect. It's fine. I want to start off tonight by apologizing to all the single women in the room. I'm already like a brother to someone else. <laughs> it's not that I'm bad with women. It's just I'm about as popular as a white crayon. That's my favorite joke. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. No, seriously, I haven't been laid in so long. It's like my virginity's probably just grown back at this point. It's, uh, it's 12.30 in the morning. I uh, just got home from the comedy club. Uh, had an absolute fucking blast at the fireworks competition. It's my first time ever doing it. It was so much fun. Uh, I wound up not placing uh, in the top, so I won't be going on to the finals. 
which I mean legitimately is a bummer, um, but I, it was one of the best sets I've ever had. Um, so much love from the audience, so much love from the club. I can't wait to do this again next year. Um, thank you everybody who came out, uh, who, who did vote for me. Apparently there was a lot of you. Um, I guess apparently it was, it was real close. So, um, but uh, the three guys who did progress from my show were amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go out to the finals tomorrow and show some support. Uh, which I hope everybody else does. Well, by the time you guys are seeing this, it's long over. So, who cares? Um, but no, it was a lot of fun. So, such it is. Uh, I got more shows booked after this, so I'm not, not necessarily hurting for work. But uh, it would have been nice to win. But, you know, next year, I'll just step up my game again for next year. And uh, gonna have got to have an absolute blast. So, thank, so glad I got to do this. I'm so happy that I, I got over my bullshit. Uh, I've been struggling with a lot of fears lately. And this was a big one to overcome. So, I got another one I'm going to be dealing with here in the next couple days. More info on that, uh, maybe. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch some porn. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs>